I need to be able to get this to fit. Oh, okay, there. That has to be the right size. Now, just... There we go, perfect. Um, Karen, what is this? Should I be going back there? Did I mention this game is a little bit like the Stanley Parable and that you don't have to listen to the specialists? What's up, guys? Welcome to Superliminal, uh, a game that's all about perception and reality. Just as a quick example, this ball, is it growing bigger in size? Is it moving closer towards you? Or a mix of both? Like, there's no easy way of telling. There's three possible perceptions that don't influence the one reality of the situation. Like, if somebody threw this ball at you and you think it's standing still but getting bigger, that's not gonna stop it from hitting you in the face. But in this game, it would, because your perception defines reality. It's a really trippy concept and something I've been thinking a lot about without having even played the game yet So I'm looking forward to seeing exactly how it's gonna work Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Maybe do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? What's it to you? At the Pierce Institute our patent pending somnoscope technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Oh. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnuscult will make your dreams come true. So it's all in a dream. Dream therapy. So am I dreaming yet? Usually my dreams have a lot more boobs and a lot less wazzed in terms of service. <laughs> no, no, I I wanted to read that. I, I assumed you were gonna let me read it or, or at the very least pretend to read it, right? I would imagine signing a contract in your dreams is still legally binding. Um, I signed the thing. You can truck in the titties now or, or let me out of this box. I'm sure some of that has to be in the fine print, right? Am oh. Okay, so we are dreaming, that's for sure. <laughs> Very good. I, I should have known things would be trippy. Perception is reality. Grab. Well, I just had a long-winded intro explaining that, but okay. So you're currently the size of a light bulb, but if I do something like this... Then you're the size of a golden retriever. <laughs> and I'm guessing if I do that again, uh. Oh! Oh! Uh. My bad. Okay, I I'm not usually a lucid dreamer. I was about to say flaccid dreamer. That's a very different kind of dream. <laughs> That's so cool, though. Like, it's such a great idea for a concept for a game. I'm really curious how it's gonna help me with the. Uh, Therapy. Oh, right. I, I could probably do the opposite, right? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Space to jump. Got it. Thank you very much. Come on, man. I don't want to dream about kids. That's creepy. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Thank you, Welcome Karen. To Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. This dream is already giving me a headache because it doesn't make any sense. Like, if there's an expert listening right now, why is this technology being used for therapy? This is literally a make your wildest fantasy come true simulator. Like, we should be using this for flaccid dreaming. I don't think the qualified specialists are too receptive to my ideas. That's fine, right? I'll, I'll just sit here and fiddle with Karen's box. I, I swear I'm not trying to make everything an innuendo, okay? But you know what? It's my dream. If I want to innuendo, then I'm gonna innuendo. Especially considering that's really all I have to do in here. I, I didn't get any objective. Maybe I'm supposed to screw with the speakers? I, I might be able to do that. What if we do something like this? Take you, turn you into a bit of a ramp. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I brought my hardcore parkour dream shoes and oh, 
Okay, now you get off this time, all right? <laughs> so it, it's gonna be a bit of a psychedelic platformer, I guess? No objects beyond this point at all times. Let's see about that. Or not. Oh. So they do have some level of control over what's happening here. I don't know how I feel about that. I want to have full control over my dream. I don't want to give you guys anything. I also don't understand how this is therapy. It really just feels more so frustrating. Okay, so something like this, where we can take you and then, eh, all right. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, uh, I'm gonna need you back, actually. Could you uh, just come over here, do a little something like this? I'm gonna need to grow you a few times, I think. There we go, hold on now, and skaboosh! That might be a little too big. Uh, my hardcore parkour dream shoes are, oh no, yeah, they're definitely good! <gasps> what on earth? Whoa. Confirmed, you can move freely, interact with surrounding objects, and listen to messages from your patient care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. That would be why I named you Karen in the first place. <laughs> so that's trippy. I, this entire time I was thinking of perception in terms of size and distance. You know, two dimensional versus three dimensional and space and stuff like that, but I guess in all reality, there's uh, a whole lot of different types of perception. This is gonna get really interesting. <laughs> I can't wait to see what else they're gonna throw at me. Unless it's more empty rooms, in which case that's a bit of a bummer. But Pawn is dreaming in my dream. Is that Inception? Should I be concerned about what I'm seeing right now? <laughs> I'm gonna have to use you for something, I would assume. Yeah, okay. It's gonna... Use you to get out of here. Easy. You're not gonna work the button trick on me more than once, okay? I got everything under control now. Alright. Hold right click to rotate. I know, I remember! I spent plenty of quality time with Karen's box. Make myself a bit of a cheese ramp. Oh dear, oh dear! Last thing I need now is a cheesy concussion. Karen, did you even stop to think for one second that this could be dangerous? Or at the very least, unpleasant? Or like, what if I was lactose intolerant? This would be a nightmare, just forcing me to climb up a hill of potential diarrhea. <laughs> it's not good! During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Okay, but if I can't wake myself up, then who can? Like, who's in charge down here? I, I assumed it was me because it's my dream, but I, I don't know how I feel about that. This is actually kind of starting to freak me out. I just assumed it was going to get weird at some point, but still, kind of just want to play with blocks all day, right? You feel, you feel really good when it falls to the wall. Uh, Karen? Oh. Is that supposed to happen? I legit think I broke the simulation there. I, like, I, I may have made it so small that it clipped out of reality. Should be super weird. <laughs> I need to be able to get this to fit. Oh, okay, there. That has to be the right size. Now, just... There we go. Perfect. Um, Karen? What is this? Should I be going back there? Did I mention this game is a little bit like the Stanley Parable in that you don't have to listen to the specialists? <laughs> right, like, therapy is a choice, and I choose to go behind the scenes and see what's going on back here in my little industrial dream world. Dream soda. Warning, you have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a keynote in our corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. 
a variable degree of force, you say? <gasps> Please use other door. I don't know why I thought I'd be able to use this to ram the door down. Like, nothing moves through space normally. I can't make items collide. I, I can only change their size so it's completely useless. I, I didn't expect it to act like an actual soda. What's the use of you? <laughs> so smooth and red. All right. Well, I, I guess we can't get any further. Right? It's the, the end of our little expedition for now. We'll continue with the orientation, build up their trust, and then see if we can break out of here and get to that dump truck full of titties somehow. What's next, Karen? What do you got for me you're making this too easy right like, i i didn't even do that this time i can't actually fit through the window but there's a button which is really weird because that means this is the intended solution right i think I, i'm supposed to grab this and then probably get a lot of distance i would imagine and try to squeak it down through somehow? Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Uh, Karen, I, I could use a, a little help here. I don't fully understand how I'm supposed to get more distance. Do I just keep making it smaller and smaller? There we go. Okay. So it is kind of changing in size and changing in space. Yeah, I get All it, no environments objects. environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. I've already been talking plenty about my mental state, Karen. I, I, I was very interested in getting titty dreams and then was not provided with any titty dreams. Oh, I see. Okay, so this needs to... Um, Oh, that actually works, right? That That's perfect. <laughs> that wasn't what I intended, but sure, thank you. Boop, and there we go. You know what, you gotta be good to be lucky. Video surveillance, people without items beyond this point will be fine. People without items. Okay, people beyond this point with objects will be fine. Um, I'm confused. So if I do bring an object beyond this point, I'm gonna get a suspension of my dream license and find one to four nights of lost sleep. Or if I don't bring an item beyond this point, I am gonna be fined, but they're not specific. I don't think I really have a choice, right? Like usually these walls stop you from, yeah, I can't bring anything beyond here, all right. Fine. Uh, okay, now I'm concerned for my mental state. What is this supposed to be? All right, well, we got whatever that is. And whatever that is. What the? Is this just, oh, that's weird. It repeats? Oh, no, 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 I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all. <laughs> Seriously? And I can't bring any items around here. I can't take any items? Huh. Okay. Good to know that my mind is essentially one giant trap. Uh, I had to need an item, Karen. That doesn't help. What is happening here? Am I screwed? I feel like I'm screwed. So this button opens the door over there, but that's not my main concern. I need to deal with this door first, right? Oh, oh, okay. So there are buttons that I can grab, even though that doesn't really help me. Because I can't bring items through this, right? Even if I... Oh, I can't grab this sign anyway. So what do I do? I need you to be over there. No, I need two things. Uh, anyone else got another item for me? I feel like I'm only about halfway there. <laughs> Please? Hello? 
I, I want to wake up now. I get it now. I don't need two items. I need one really big item. <laughs> Something like uh, this. Yeah, there we go. That's really clever. This is legitimately hurting my brain, I'm not gonna lie. Please stand by for polite recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Final doorway as indicated, okay. Uh, interesting. Oh. Interesting. My friend the cheese is back. Did a real piss poor job of dreaming up this final room. I'm not seeing any more items, just the cheese. Even though... I was going to say I would need the cheese anyway, right? How else would I get through the door? But I can't get through the door anyway, so who cares? Boy clearly wants me to escape. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, come here, cheese. Can I... There we go. I guess I just need to make you big enough. Would you be able to help out a little bit? I, I can kind of make stuff collide. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we're getting somewhere. Bigger, bigger. Just, just, come on. You gotta be able to knock something over. Knock it over. Yes! Okay. So I can actually manipulate stuff to hit other stuff. This does not look like a place I'm supposed to be. Actually, no, screw that. There's nothing on the other side of the door, and there's no way through the door. So I am doing what they're asking of me. Like, I I'm not trying to get fined here. I, I just... Want to dream about tig ass bitties? <laughs> I don't think that's asking too much, right? Ah, uh, yeah, it says exit. I am going to wake up, aren't I? Is this the point? Not seeing. Oh, oh, oh! Didn't see that. Did not see that. Usually, you only load to a hundred percent. Everything about this game confuses me, and I'm, I'm seriously feeling pressure, like, right here between my eyes. <laughs> Everything about my natural perception is just getting a wrench thrown into it. Okay. So we're awake now. Right? R we are awake now, right? If I, if I pick something up, I can't pick anything up. I'm definitely still dreaming. Gotta be. I'm just gonna stab a receptionist. <laughs> it's a dream! <laughs> I have no doubt that would go over well. Okay, I was in uh, Suite F. Good to know. Just in case that comes up private. We'll see about that. Uh, I don't have hands, so... I'm guessing doorknobs don't help me all that much. No one here. Why is there no one around? Hello? I woke up, Karen! Karen, I did what was asked of me! Oh, crap. No! No! Are you serious? <laughs> There's no way! Uh, ooh, hold on. Maybe... No. No, definitely still dreaming. Well, tits. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Super Liminal, guys. Really cool game, I wanna continue this. If you guys wanna see this become a series, please leave a like in the video, let me know. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, it might be short because I just, I, I can't keep going, I legitimately have a headache. Like, this game screws with the way that you perceive reality. That's all perception is, it's just your eyes seeing something and your brain making sense of it, but it doesn't have to actually be what's happening, so when you try to mess that around and use it differently, it, it just, it hurts a little bit. <laughs> but in a, in a good way. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.